So what are some words that describe you, Rafat? I'm friendly and trustworthy and a team That's great. Now she shared that it's a little nervous to get up in front of people, but she wanted to be a model for her brothers and sisters, yeah. that you can get up and you can overcome any of those fears. Give her a hand, isn't that amazing? <laughs> so, Rafat, what was your Myers-Briggs, your national toolkit? I'm an inspector, so I observe everything. So being a guardian, that's that category of being an inspector, ISTJ, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? I'm loyal and um, really easy to work with. And my weaknesses is I change when I go to new places, so it's hard for me like, just to get into a new routine. That's right. Okay, so again, knowing yourself is so important. So now, as you start to think about your dreams, what do you want to be someday? A pediatrician. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so not just any doctor, right? She's focused. So with your SMART goal being specific about being a pediatrician, right? what's the measure would you have to have in order to pursue that? Well, I have to pass the exams, and I have to go to college and middle school, and um, I have to pass the Florida exams to be a pediatrician. And you gotta be licensed, right? Like, just don't let you work with your kids mm -hmm. if you're not licensed. So that's all part of her process there. So relevant, why do you want to be a, all doctors? Why a pediatrician? I love having people, and I love working so again, when you love something, right, you're going to put your heart into it. So how many years with all those attainable steps are going to take you to accomplish this? 12 years. 12 year plan. Can you give her a hand? Isn't that great? <laughs> so what's the first thing you think the TV is going to help you pursue that dream? Teamwork, for sure. I've learned how to work with teams. Before, I like put into the, you know, my ideas, their ideas, but when I actually like went into this program, I understood his point of view, her point of view, and I feel like that's very important when going into, you know, the medical, because I have to work with a big team to help the patients. Very good, that's so true. So what's one bad habit that you're going to overcome so it doesn't get in the way of pursuing your dream? I try to do everything at once, you know, I need to take everything step by step and to reach the goal that I'm and not be quite a perfectionist, right? Excellence is good, no one's perfect. How about a hand for Rafat? Right. Come on down. So she's gonna share some positive words that she learned about herself. Okay, so what are some words that describe you? I am very accountable and uh, smart, um, brave. Very good, you're allowed to look at your script. That's okay, that's okay. Yeah. Right. So when you learn then what your natural toolkit was, what is your Myers-Briggs? Mastermind. She's another mastermind, right? She's the big picture, INTJ, right? So that's a rationalist, right? So what is the strength and weakness of being a rationalist mastermind? Um, I'm good at noticing what goes around me, being able to break things down and just aware of all. And a weakness with it is also I overthink a lot and try to think about a lot of things at once. And sometimes I just have to remember that I need to slow down and take it step by step. Right. And sometimes our masterminds, they see the world the way it is, and it's not always perfect, right? So we have to kind of sometimes bite our tongue, right? Especially with brothers and sisters. Don't be quite so critical, right? Encouraging, right? <laughs> All right. So what do you want to be someday, Dan? I want to be a businesswoman. Um, I want to... I have multiple business. I'm really into animals. I love animals. So someday after I get through with my first goal, having my first business with it, is cosmetology. I like doing hair, nails, lashes, makeup, anything in the beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I would like to have a business within the beauty. Um, so run your cosmetology, then business, you have to have what? What's your measure of success? What do you have to have? So, yeah, first I want to like graduate from high school, get my high school diploma. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to go to a hair school or a cosmic school to get my degree in that. And that will take five to 10 years. And then once I get that, I would like to start my way of having my own business with cosmetology. Okay. So you got to be certified, right? The state of Florida requires that, right? And so why is this relevant? Why is this your passion? Um, when I do other people's hair or makeup just for fun, I like to see the end result. Mm -hmm. Seeing people flattered and enjoying the way they look or how the outcome is, is like, 
is very deep within me. Like I like to see people happy. I like to see people happy that I did it. People yeah. happy in general. Feeling good about themselves. Yeah, that's wonderful. So what are some principles from Character GPS going to help you pursue this dream? Um, I learned that, not saying that I was bad with teamwork, but I learned that one head, no two heads, is better than one. So being open to other people's ideas and giving people opportunities to be with you overall, just in general, is something that I learned from Miss Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> How was well that? Great. Now, so what's one bad habit that you're going to take control of your life to eliminate so that it won't get in your way? Spending money. I'm a female, and I can say that. <laughs> saving money is <laughs> one of my biggest offs. So saving money to be able to to save and buy the utensils I need, or just having money in general for when I have to spend it, something I will be better on. There you go. So we learned in our three team energy, your time, temptation, and treasure about not only just earning money, but saving money, having a plan for that. Well, that's great. Congratulations. And <laughs> okay. So again, you can see the kids have put a lot of thought into, again, pulling together what they've learned in the program. So Noel, what are some positive words you learned about yourself? That's great. So now, looking at your uh, script there, what is your Myers Briggs, what's your natural toolkit? Um, ISFP, which is an author slash composer. Right, so an artisan, right? And you like to write and kind of put together new things? That's great. So, what are the strengths and what are the weaknesses of being this wonderful artisan? Well, around being an artisan, you'll mostly be around rhetoric mm -hmm. and literature. Okay. So, you're going to have to be really good. At like you know reading and writing. You're well read, aren't you? Yeah, I think you like to read. And what's a weakness for you? Um, well, Sometimes sharing what you've created, like, like you're kind of like yeah, your baby. Yeah. Publicly voicing your opinion and then people say something that contradicts that, that can be a little bit discouraging. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Okay, very good. So what do you want to be someday, Noel? Well, I want to be a movie critic. Okay, a movie critic, right? So. Now, being you know specific, what's the measure? How do you know when you've arrived at being a movie critic? Well, when you gathered enough influence where people around will start listening to you and <laughs> right. take what you say into consideration, right. and then they'll start sharing your values, and it's just going to spread. There you go. So, what are your attainable steps now? Using our smart. So, starting today, what are you going to be working on? Well, starting today, I'm going to be trying to get my high school diploma. Highly recommend that. And then get my college degree. Yes. And then afterwards, I'm going to have to do, go to a school for cinematography right. to get all the information about how things work on set and how they make movies so I can properly judge them, see if they're correct or not. All right. Sounds like a great plan. So why is this something that you're, what's it you know, relevant for you? What's, why is this your passion? Well, I like publicly announcing my opinion, you know, <laughs> and seeing people that agree with me, that makes me happy. <laughs> and changing their way of thinking would make me even happier. There you go. All right. So how many years is it going to take to become this amazing movie critic? Uh, it would take five years. Five-year plan. How about a hand? Isn't that great? So, what are some principles that Treasure TV is going to help you to pursue this dream? Well, obviously, since I'm a cooperative person, um, learning how to receive input from other people mm -hmm. and coming to a solution that makes everyone happy, uh, that's going to be a necessity. So when collaborating with other people who are also critics, uh, we can come together, right. obviously, and come to a grand decision. Mm -hmm. And that grand decision will, of course, draw more people closer, saying, oh, look, look at these, oh, look at these group of people, they're, their opinions are they're about it, right? And they're great together. That's right. So we should probably listen to them. There you go. So Noel's had to put some thought to this, right? Yeah. 
So again, the synergy, right? Collaborating, working together, and of course, you're gonna to need to have a can-do attitude, that's right? All right, how about one bad habit that you're gonna to to give up so that you can pursue this dream? Uh, a bad habit that we just had was procrastination. Yes. Yeah, I struggle to get things done when they're supposed to be done, and usually, you know, do it at the last minute. Right. But I'm always gonna try and fix that and do things right away as soon as possible. There you go. So that was our big thing in our action plans and GPS was, when are you going to do it? Today, right? Don't put it off. How about a hand for your all <laughs> Last but not least, and Connor's someone that I always look up to. So uh, Connor, tell us some words that describe you. Uh, I think I'm hardworking, determined. Uh, I know what I want. That's yes, great. So what was your Myers Briggs when you discovered your natural talents were? Uh, I'm an ENFP. Is a champion. That's great. And uh, I'm a change agent. There you go. So, what's a weakness then for a change agent idealist? Uh, repeated problems that bog me down. Yeah. Something that I can't solve, maybe on my own or something like that. Right. Uh, can't we solve this? Why do we keep tripping over this? Very good. All right, so what do you want to be someday? Uh, I want to be a criminal defense attorney. Wow, that is great. So, specifically now with your smart goal plan, what is the measure? What do you have to have to be an attorney? Uh, I have to have a master's degree, and I have to go to law school and graduate, and pass the Florida bar. Pass the Florida bar, right? You gotta know what you're doing there, that's great. So relevant, why is this your passion? Why do you wanna do this? Uh, I love helping people, and uh, to see somebody's problems go away, it, the look on their face is believing in that. That is always. great. So adding up all those steps, about how long will it take you to become this great attorney? Nine to 10 years. Nine to 10 year plan, give them a hand, isn't that great? What are some principles and character GPS are going to help you accomplish that? Definitely teamwork. Uh, I'm not good at working with people usually, but I think this class really helped me do that. And uh, in order to you know, go to college and everything, obviously I'm going to have to talk to people. I don't want to have to talk with clients and everything else. And I'm going to have to work with them to figure out their problems. Excellent. So what's one bad habit you're going to commit to overcome so you can pursue this dream? Uh, I get in my own way, like a mental block. And I think maybe I can't do something, but I really can't. Can do, right? Yeah. You know, okay, very good. Now, also, we have a special award for Connor because Connor, if you get to know him, he always shows up and he's always early. So Connor is receiving our attendance reliability award. Give him a hand. First one here today, Connor. Give him a hand. We've heard a little bit from each of our graduates now on what their dreams are. So now we're going to make it official. They are going to become a character GPS graduate. So with Dr. Smith's help here, we're going to do the grand march. Our students are going to receive character GPS dog tags. Not available in any store. That's kind of our joke, right? So each one of these is stamped with one of the seven toolkits. And they're also going to receive the, the challenge coin for their commitment to overcome a bad habit, take control of their lives. So that they know it takes 30 days to break a bad habit, build a good habit, right? And when Ms. Debbie and I, when we see our students out in the mall, you know, the stores, probably Christmas shopping here, right? But Tiana's going to only do some shopping, not as much, right? Uh, and they pull this out of their wallet, out of their purse, to say, hey, this is Ms. Kane, I'm still working on it, right? So it's a great visible reminder. So again, your character GPS challenge coin, not available in any store, is available here. And then, of course, our certificate. And when you're a character GPS graduate, not only do you have an immediate benefit, as Dr. Smith will take your grade, if you have like an 88, you'll bump it up to a 90 because you're in leadership training. But we will write letters of recommendation for jobs, for scholarships, for college, because we will brag on you. And having been a vice president of human resources, I know how to brag, right? So we are very excited about your future. So as they come up now to receive their official graduation, they're gonna, they've earned uh, bonus chips for participating in the program, teaching their folks what they've learned, uh, taking their tests, doing all their notes, uh, they have three tables here, one prize from each table. So the first one is kind of whatever you need to kind of prepare for that job interview. So we have some ties and other things, uh, 
a pillow, uh, get a good night's sleep before the interview. So that's the first table, kind of practical things. The second is our resource table, which Spencer Wiggins, again, encourage you guys, be learners, right? Lifelong learners. So you got some resources there. And then the third table is just a kind of a fun table, right? Grab something that you're going to have fun with. So we're going to go ahead and start our brand march. And you got the certificates there, okay? So he's going to call the names, and I'm going to go ahead and be ready to give them their dog tags. Yes, thank you. And we're going to call the names of all the participants. So some of them were not able to be here this evening for the ceremony, but we're going to call their names. So. And this is the order of the bonus chips that they have earned in the program. We're going to start with Rafan Alzarani. Charter High School. How about another round of applause? <laughs> and also, they're going to have a Kircher GPS t-shirt, not available at any store. So again, fix, find the size that fits you best. And to wrap things up, uh, again, we just want to say a kind of quick blessing on our graduates here. And I'm Irish, so we're going to humor me with this one here. So we're going to say, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Congratulations. We have Character GPS Kate. So thanks celebrate with us. Congratulations, from Kate here. Thanks for our partners here. Thanks for everyone coming. And again, if you would remember to fill out your evaluations, they go over here. Do you want to say something? Oh, okay. The general wants to take a picture. Oh, yeah, pictures. Come on up and we'll take lots of pictures. Sure. Yeah, come on up here. We'll be glad to do that. Thank you so much for coming. And evaluations, if you put it right in the tray up there. I want to give you a big thanks. You, you, I see you all the time here. You're very welcome. Proud of you. Proud of you. Y'all too. Y'all too. I appreciate everybody. Yeah, great team here. 
Um, so parents, if you'd like to come up and have pictures taken with your graduate and Dr. Smith, myself, sure. anyone else wants to be in the picture? Came from Nashville, what's a few more steps? That's right. <laughs>